All right, guys, um, this is for um, importing a, an existing movie file that you may have uh, created uh, yourself, maybe from a phone or maybe from uh, another program. Um, once you have what, uh, what's defined as a movie file like this, uh, what we need to do is convert it into a, um, an MP4. Um, especially if you plan on working with it in, in Animate. If you want to have a video file back here that you want to, um, that you want to animate on top of, uh, let's say for a reanimate project or maybe even like a rotoscope project, then this would be the, this would be the steps that you have to take. So uh, one of them I already have is an MP4 and we'll get to that later and what to do with that. But for right now we need to deal with this uh, this movie file. And so what I want to do is open up a program uh, like Adobe uh, Premiere. If you look on the desktop, you'll see um, one of the Adobe Premiere Pro. It looks, it's purple icon, purple and black, kind of with, um, it says PR on the icon. So click and open up that, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna wait here until this uh, actually opens up. All right, so once this opens up, what I want to do is go to new project and, oh, I can't show you my screen here um, right now because it's not letting me. I'm going to click OK uh, once the screen pops up because it's on my other monitor so you can't see it. So once the window pops up for new project, uh, you can give the project a title, but we're not really going to save it. We're just going to use this program just to export as a different file type. So I'm just going to click OK on that. Um, it says this project already is it, whatever. Um, just put, um, I want to overwrite it. Yes. If that pops up, then go ahead and overwrite. Um, and so what you're left with now is this workspace. What I want to do is go down here and import media to start. I'm just going to double click here. It's going to bring up a window. Navigate to where your movie file is that you want to bring in. I'm going to click on this. Um, this movie.mov file and open. You don't have to do this for the MP4, just the MOV. Uh, possibly the, if you have an AVI, um, this would be where you would want to select that as well. I'm going to open this. It's going to import the files. All I want to do is take this. It's not in my timeline yet, so I'm going to take it and just drop it here. Just click and drag. And now once it's in place, I've created a little timeline for it. I'm going to go up here to file export media and this pops up the format I want and what animate needs is for you to uh, create an mp4 change it to H this format right here change it to H264 and the pre preset scroll down here and change to YouTube 1080p that'll make it useful for um, web sources and sharing on online so um, I, I expect this is going to be something pretty cool that we'll want to uh, to share this reanimate project that we're doing in the in the club here uh, with SpongeBob. Um, so I also want to make sure I know where this is saving. So I'm going to click on the output name and make sure that it's going to um, an H drive or someplace where you can easily locate it. Don't just let it save wherever because you end up having to dig through the computer to try to figure out where it's going. Make sure the name is correct and just saving it as an MP4. I'm gonna save, and then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna click export. It's gonna take a few seconds, and that's basically it. I'm gonna close this out. I don't need to save this. And here's my new MP4. Um, so now, what I wanna do is make sure I have Animate open. And for this, you wanna make sure that you have it, you have opened up. So if I go to open a new, um, make sure you're opening up an action script 3.0 project. Um, these are web-based. Uh, we're not going to really get into that. Um, Action script is for movie files, straightforward animations, and so we'll click on that. Our width and height, let's go ahead and change that. Uh, we want this to be 1920, and the height will be 1080, so it matches the format of our video. And click OK. And I'm going to click up here where it says fit in window. It fits in 
my workspace just fine. I'm gonna go up here to file. I wanna bring in that video now. I'm gonna import. I'm gonna import to stage. I'm gonna to navigate to where my files are and I should have animation club, reanimate SpongeBob. I'm gonna change this right here to all files. And now that it says all files, I can now locate which one I wanna start. So this is the one I just converted. I'm gonna take that MP4 right here and open it. Um, where would you like this video file? Where is this video file? I want to embed this in the timeline. Um, so it cannot be exported with my animation, which is good. It's just there as a resource. Um, so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click next. And I wanna keep this just as it is. It's gonna be an instance on my stage. It's gonna expand my timeline if I need to. It's also going to include audio, which would be handy if you plan on syncing mouth movements with, with um, sounds from the, from the clip. So next. Um, Blah, 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 blah. So do we place on stage, Expl expanded, after reporting video, do video topics. I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna click finish and give it a couple seconds and we'll see what happens. It's thinking, it's not responding, computer's struggling. What are we gonna do? Um, well, we just have to wait. So just wait and wait. It's still waiting, there we go, all right. So here we go, I've got my video file. If I go to play it, oh, actually, let's see here. Let's click on this. Let's make sure that we are the right size for, here we go. Snapping it to my, my frame on the outside there. Um, when I go to play, that is all I need to see. Now what this is gonna be, I'm gonna go label this. I'm gonna double click on this. I'm gonna layer, layer this my video. I'm gonna lock it. Okay, I don't want anything to happen to that video. And when I animate, I'm gonna create a new layer. Oops, sorry. My new layer right here. This is where I'm gonna start my, my, my layers. Maybe this, Layer right here is gonna be my background layer, right? So I can start to separate where um, different parts of my artwork are gonna be. And so I can animate my background here and start setting up some, some layers here. Maybe I want this one right here to be um, SpongeBob and create another one. Maybe this one would be Patrick, I'm just gonna put Pat and now I have different layers that I can start to animate on. Um, I create several layers. That way, if you make a mistake, something happens to one of your animation layers here, you don't have to worry about losing all your other work. So what I would do is actually start by figuring out your background, um, then move on to maybe more complicated things like character movements and figure that out. When it comes to saving this project, what I would do is create a new project for each um, scene or each clip that you're actually animating for. I think it's gonna end up making it easier in the end when you end up having to compile these um, as a group into one continuous um, reanimate project. So here I go, I'm gonna just go to with this project file, save as, it's gonna save as that, I'm gonna save it where my videos are keep everything all in one place. This is, um, I'm just gonna name it Fulton. This is clip eight and this is SpongeBob. All right, so that's just how I'm gonna title it because that's what's gonna help me remember it. So um, I saved it here and done. So now this one's like ready to go. I'm ready to start drawing on this um, and so um, it's not much, just basically got like about a second and a half of, of, of stuff here to work with. So um, that's just something easy to kind of help you start off. So good luck and hope that helps getting you set up and started here.